G'day Gold Diggers, Steve here again. Uh, just doing a quick video on panning. I've been dropping off some of these containers of material to people. And uh, just a demo on how to pan it out. Some of the guys have never panned before. I've uh, got a little 10 inch pan. Spoon. Snuffer bottle. Now most of the guys I've dropped it off to won't have a snuffer bottle either, so tweezers or use your fingers. And the rinse aid of course, or dishwashing liquid will do. Alright, you get your bucket of water. Squirt of rinse aid, or oh, put too much in, you don't want heaps of bubbles in there. Otherwise the gold floats out with the bubbles. Let me pan up. A few guys just starting out, just put in a spoonful to start with, until you get your confidence up. And shake it all down. is that it's sitting in the corner of the bowl and you got these little grooves in a pan that stops the gold floating out shaking it side to side makes the heavies fall to the bottom and all the lights on top and then when you tilt it up more over those riffles the gold shouldn't come out of the pan and you lightly wash it off some water back in and shake him down again and yeah when you've got like that much left in the bowl then you can start swirling it around and see if there's any color in there yeah when you've got that much in there you start swirling the water backwards and forwards pulling all the light material down to the bottom this feels real unco doing this one-handed with a camera. Now I've got no idea how much gold is in those containers I dropped off. There could be none. Well, there was none in that spoonful. Then when you get your confidence up, you can really put a heap in the pan. Same thing again, shaking side to side. Get all that gold sitting in the bottom of the pan. And if you do it in a bucket, And you're not getting rid of the material it's still in there so once you reckon you're good at it go through the bucket again and see how much you've missed because it is super fine the gold out of that mine and once you've agitated it a bit tilt it up and rinse all the lights off the top Water back in him, side to side again. Rinse the lights off the top. And just keep repeating this until you're back down to a quarter of a cup left in there. And you can start swirling the water around again.
Ah, the rinse aids to break the water tension so the gold doesn't float. Keep getting told I don't explain things enough. Yeah, one more wash out. Then you can start your swirling process again. Another thing I like to do is get rid of the lights and put them down the back of the pan and then just put some water on there and then you're left with your black sands and heavy still in the top there. Shake them back down. Swirl him again. Hey, there's gold in this one. I don't know how you guys are going to go getting it out of your pans without snuffers, so... You may have to improvise, I think. Show you how small this gold is. Look at that. It's tiny. There's my finger for a comparison. So, don't know how you're going to do that. Unless you get a snuffer bottle. <coughs> yeah, that's... Water's pretty dirty, you can't even see the gold in there now, but with the snuffer bottle, you push it in, and as you release, it sucks up the gold into the bottle. bit floated up the, up there. There you go. Guys, I hope that helps somebody with one of the buckets of material I dropped off. Hopefully you find heaps of colour in it. If not, I can process more and give you another crack at it. But yeah, see how you go. And let me know. Cheers.